here it is. And uh, they opened it, of course, and they found instruction manual for residential hot water heater. And they found some books, and they found the notebook. And in the notebook, there was a, a writing. And I want to go through it with you a little bit, because uh, it's kind of hard to see like this. But we'll start from the first line. Get killing knives. Quiet. Multiple. Get carving knives to make small pieces. Get sledgehammer. Crush bones. And of course, there were multiple knives found at the scene. You will hear uh, there was a knife in the guest bathroom, a knife in the sink in the master bathroom. There were two knives next to uh, the pile of bloody clothes that belonged to Joel Guy in the exercise room. And then there was a bloody knife next to Lisa Guy's uh, cut up clothing. There is no evidence that uh, he used the knives to make small pieces other than the hands and head, or that he used the sledgehammer to crush bones. You will not hear evidence of that. Bring blender and food grinder. Grind meat. Well, we will not show you that he did grind any meat, but we will show you that he brought a blender and that in his vehicle that was searched after his arrest in Baton Rouge, he did have a food processor in the trunk. Get bleach, denature proteins. Well, there was bleach, several tubs of bleach in the kitchen. Get plastic bin for denaturation process. And uh, I guess that's, uh, that means for dissolving uh, your parents. Does not matter where they're killed. Just get rid of bloody spots to prevent evidence of time of death. Not the mattress or couches. Get rid of bodies inside the house, there and my DNA already there. Because of course he had been visiting, so his DNA would be in the house necessarily. I, I guess that's what that means. Um, he needs to be, I can't read that word, not intruder. Flush chunks down toilet, not garbage disposal. No evidence, ladies and gentlemen, that, uh, that he did that. Uh, but the next line, get plastic sheeting for disposal process. There is evidence that there was plastic sheeting at the scene on the bed uh, where Joel and Lisa Guy slept. Get hollow point bullets just in case. Will be seen buying bullets. Just use computer room gun. Check to make sure there are bullets, last resort. There were no gunshot wounds to the victims. He's not alive to claim her half of the insurance money, all mine, $500,000. You will hear evidence through Jennifer Whited and through documents from Jacob Engineering that Lisa Guy did have an insurance policy. Uh, she was going to be employed until uh, the following Friday uh, after, her, after Thanksgiving. And uh, you will see that he was a beneficiary, in fact, to this life insurance policy. Flood the house. Covers up forensic evidence. No evidence that he flooded the house. Turn heater up as high as it goes. Speeds comp decomposition. Again, uh, thermostats were in the 90s, both upstairs and downstairs. Bleach reacts with luminol, just like blood. Douse area with bleach. Big sprayer. There was a big sprayer in a box on the kitchen floor. I don't know that it had been opened. And I can't tell you that the state will prove that there was evidence that he doused the area with bleach. Uh, but there was lye. And uh, he mentioned, it says trash compactor, question mark. The next line is, body gives time of death, alibi. Don't have to get rid of body if there's no forensic evidence on the body. His fingerprints and DNA. And that 
brings us to the severed hands. Um, the severed hands. We believe the state will prove to you that uh, the hands were severed for a purpose. Okay? For a purpose. There's a reason behind it. Minimize, and we're on to the second page of the notebook. Minimize things I touch throughout the visit. Wear gloves and socks to pre prevent fingerprints and footprints. And as I said, you will see uh, photographic evidence that there were gloves, latex gloves, found throughout the house, boxes of them, uh, in his bedroom, in the bedroom that he was using in the house, in the master bedroom, in the kitchen, um, in the guest bath. Drop something down the garbage disposal to break it. Get him on the ground, or get him on the ground fixing it. Kill him with the knife. Clean up mess from him before she gets home. Kill her with knife. Kill the dog after. And that's marked out and above it. Leave him alive. Fingerprints. Take dog with you. I don't know what this says. The first word I don't understand. Him with him is all I can read. The next line is place her in shower, turn on hot water, and point at her to get rid of forensics. Remove her clothes and take them with me for disposal. And you know her clothes were removed. Place him in plastic bin and use it to get him into the upstairs bathroom. Well, uh, Mr. Guy's remains were certainly found in a plastic bin in the upstairs bathroom. Cut off his arm and plant his flesh under her fingernails. And I will remind you that Lisa Guy's right hand was severed from her arm. Place her hand with his DNA so that his DNA is not washed away by shower. Use sodium hydroxide. You'll hear evidence that the sewer line cleaner and other products have sodium hydroxide. Use sodium hydroxide to destroy his soft tissue and his softened bones for transport. Baste once every hour to accelerate. Flush sodium hydroxide down the toilet. Wash out bin with handheld shower head and then direct handheld into toilet to flush everything out of the pipes and into the public waterway. Douse killing rooms, kitchen, question mark, with bleach. Place hair curler with flammable paper and flammable containers of gasoline in four locations. His killing room, her killing room, his bathroom, her bathroom. Wipe down areas near killing rooms and bathrooms. Turn heaters up to 90 degrees to melt fingerprints and dry everything. Set her phone to send me a text message late Sunday to prove that I was in Baton Rouge and she was, in quotation marks, alive. Leave through front door and wipe down doorknobs. Timer for flammables set for Friday at 10, 10 a.m. Sunlight masks fire, but not smoke. Everyone at work, so they can't report it. This is an enlargement of uh, what is on this page. Ultraviolet light shows fingerprints. Check mail before leaving. To get rid of blood, use peroxide hemoglobin and bleach DNA. Destruction of bodies. Composition of body, 20% fat, 20% protein, 55% water, and 5% other components. Assets. 
These pages will show you that the defendant analyzed the financial assets of uh, his parents. Her assets, her life insurance, 500,000, possibly more with double indemnity. With him missing dead, I get the whole thing. All her other assets are joint. Go to him if missing, unknown if he's dead. His assets includes all joint property if missing. When he gets all joint property, also gets joint debt. Knoxville House, homeowner's insurance, possibly, but probably worthless after the fire, oh, $100,000. Sir Goinsville House, appraised at 400,000 plus, worthless with Renee on the property. You will hear testimony that Renee Charles is Joel Guy Sr.'s sister. His sisters live in the Sir Goinsville area. Her car, his SUV, not paid for. His boat, his old truck, paid for. His 401k, $80,000, possibly less after taxes. He could possibly have savings and or other investment accounts. So we believe that the proof will show you, ladies and gentlemen, that the motive in this case, it's not an element of the crime, but the motive is financial. Money, all mine, $500,000. I get the whole thing.